our hope is that we are a safety net for folks in their time of crisis. Sometimes there's a real sense of hopelessness. They need you. We, we need to help them. Families, they, they bring all their challenges with them. We, we do see more and more families entering crisis. It's a very humbling thing for folks to have to ask for help. You know, it's hard enough when a family breaks up. It's very embarrassing for her to say, I can't, I can't do it on my own right now. It's about not having enough money to afford housing. They're just having a hard time making a go of it. We don't have a memory of when things were really organized in their life and um, folks by and large were healthy and happy you know as a unit we're seeing them at their their worst point and the parents feel like a failure so they've gone hungry a lot how are we going to get through today and I'll worry about tomorrow tomorrow this is a place where people love you and they care about you and it's not always going to be this difficult we want to help you get back on your feet again I mean we have just a tremendous and really humbling network of supporters out there. We're constantly evaluating what we're doing and trying to figure out how we can do a better job. There's no reason we can't do more and better. Part of what we need to do is help build people back up. You know, some really bad things have happened. We want to take that worry off of those parents. We want to be part of ending that crisis. They feel like a great success. They feel like they're really on the, the path out. We do have strengths. We love you and we're praying for you. You can't get so caught up in the day-to-day, -day, you know, managing everything that, that we forget. That's where empowerment comes in, when the individual is making their own choice and feeling like they can own that decision and kind of own that success of putting their homelessness behind them.